This newsreel is being brought to you by the Robertson County Funeral Home. Are these sandwiches the source for a mystery illness that seems to be moving across the Greenbrier school system today? Smokey investigates. It has certainly been an interesting day in Greenbrier as school officials tried to figure out the exact origin of a virus or a bacterial infection or food contamination or food poisoning that has moved through the school system, affecting many teachers. After a survey of the affected schools, Robertson County Director of Schools, Mike Davis, indicated that as many as 86 teachers or faculty members had been affected by the strange illness, uh, which presented itself with diarrhea, upset stomach, and vomiting. Uh, the director told me personally and through an official press release that uh, he believes that the source of the uh, bacterial or viral infection uh, was a local food chain. As some officials we spoke to believe that this sandwich shop had absolutely nothing to do with this and it's just a simple virus that's moving through the community. Leslie, what do you think is going on? Well, I feel certain that it is a, a stomach virus that's going around the community. We began seeing people last week with nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea, which persisted through Friday. The clinic is closed on the weekend, so we didn't see anyone there, but Monday we saw children coming in, sick parents. We advised the parents to keep all children home until they had been fever-free or symptom-free for 24 hours. But, but I, in fact, had a few saying, oh, they can go to school tomorrow because they're only in school for three hours. So what happens is people are not washing hands frequently, getting out, being exposed to other people before they're uh, symptom-free, and they're actually just spreading the virus. Uh, from what I gather, we heard yesterday for the first time that Subway is being blamed for causing food contamination. Just for the record, we paid for and delivered the trays from Subway to the schools. We, in fact, kept a tray for ourselves, which was an assorted tray that had all the meats there. We have been eating on those. We purchased them Tuesday. I had one for breakfast this morning when I got to work from the fridge. None of our staff have been sick. Not a single patient that we have seen for this virus had eaten at Subway. So I just have to use good common reasoning here. Stomach viruses and food poisons Food poisoning can both mem have the same sy symptoms and can mimic one another. However, you have to use how long is the virus lasting and all that. It's been lasting 24 to 48 hours. Again, people not, e not eating at Subway. I'm from the White House area. My family, my extended family have had the virus. So it just makes common sense to know it's not food contamination. And I just hate to see an innocent person kind of being railroaded as I term it, or I wouldn't even have bothered to comment on it. Okay. I received a call this morning about 7.30 from the school board, uh, a member of the school board, so I want to know if I had heard about all the food poisonings here in Greenbrier, and I had not heard anything at this point. Uh, one of his questions was, or one of his statements was, there were so many at four different schools that had ate a tray from the subway on Tuesday, and since then it's become sick. And when I received that call, I happened to be here in Greenbar at Community Care, bringing my wife with the same symptoms that he's sitting there telling me about. And she did not eat at Subway. She has the same virus. While I was talking on the phone to him, uh, somebody else called me about it, the doctor or, or, or physician's assistant here at Community Care, come out and interrupted me and said, excuse me, but that is a virus that has been going around and it's not food poisoning. And at that time, I found out they're the ones who had gave the trays to the schools to welcome them back on opening day, and they also had one of the trays. So they had ate the same and did not get sick. And in the meantime, I've talked to a bunch of people that's got the same symptoms, been sick, but has not eaten at Subway. So I feel like this whole thing has got just gone overboard you know I think that Subway's getting a rap or something that they didn't do I think it's a coincidence um, health department has been contacted I've talked to them had my staff talked to them I do know Subway uh, the health department came to Subway yesterday and did some tests and stuff they're still open so I feel like at this point you know we're gonna wait and hear what what they have to say is from the health department but um, a lot of these people, I think it's just coincidence, somebody's passed it on. But it's been going on since last Friday. 
Um, you know, subway aside, um, we still have a lot of sick people. You think these represent normal statistics, or is there an acceleration? I, I talked to Matt Browning, who's a doctor in uh, Springfield, and he says that he does have accelerated numbers. Um, uh, you know, what do you what do you make if it's just a virus? You know, is that unusual? I don't think so. Kids at school started back Tuesday, and you know, I have. Three, I have all four schools I have grandkids or kids in, so there's four out of my household or that can go to school and pass it on to anybody. So if you've got siblings in schools and teachers who carry it in, I don't think it's, you know, and being in the medical profession, going on calls, I see it all the time. I just think it's timing. Personal opinion. Well, as a small business owner, I mean, you know, I'm out here speaking for the community, and I just hope nobody will, you know, assume anything until they get the facts. Uh, we ate there as a family. You know, my wife and my two kids ate there uh, Tuesday night. Everything was fine. You know, being a small business owner in a small town, it's pretty hard with the rumors going around. And we ate there Tuesday night, like I said, and everything's fine. You know, this could have started anywhere. School just started. All the kids are together. All the teachers are together. You know, this could have started anywhere and just not one pinpointed place. So I'll be more than happy to eat there and support Subway. You know. According to the Center for Disease Control, people in Iowa, Nebraska, Texas, Wisconsin, Georgia, and Connecticut are showing symptoms very similar to the ones that we have here in Greenbrier. Uh, Smokey's been following the story for several days as uh, people were emailing us indicating that there was a possibility of some kind of virus or uh, food poisoning moving around in Greenbrier. Um, but it wasn't until today that the number of cases uh, seemed to skyrocket. Now, remember those sandwiches that we showed you at the top of our segment? Well, they are literally from the same batch of sandwiches that were delivered to the Greenbrier schools. The Subway sandwiches were part of a gift from Community Quick Care to welcome the teachers back to a new year. Uh, Leslie King has been nibbling on the sandwiches uh, for a couple of days. We've been eating these since the day before yesterday. This is an assorted tray that has all the meats that Subway has. Some of the trays were assorted, but this contains everything. Not a person here has exhibited any symptoms of food poisoning. Uh, the last report we had with the Tennessee Department of Health was that they have yet to identify a source for the illness. Uh, the Robertson County Health Department along with the Tennessee Department of Health are some pretty well-trained people at uh, getting to the bottom of things that can make us all sick. So they uh, always do a great job. I have no doubt they will get to the bottom of this. When they do and we have the report, we will present it to you. This has been Jim Ball reporting for Smoky Barn News in Greenbrier. The Robertson County Funeral Home has been serving families for a quarter century. When it's time to celebrate and remember, to honor in loving memory, the Robertson County Funeral Home.